Okay, so we're back for part 17 of Let's Play Sly Raccoon, and we're ready for Mugshot. We're gonna burst Mugshot now, and we're finally gonna kick that big, big fat ass. Not big fat ass, but big, big guy with little legs around the curve. But you know what? I'm not gonna do anything to him. We're just gonna tap mirrors. I don't really see what mirrors have to do with anything, but yeah. But apparently he gets like injured by the mirrors. Maybe the light, he must be afraid of it. He must be like a vampire or something. He doesn't like light, because like the light of the mirrors or something affects him and it becomes all weird. Maybe he just sits there in a chair all day. Anyway, enough of this. There's a strategy, a strategy that I have made for the last um, part of this boss. The first part's easy. The second part can be quite tricky because you have to keep jumping. Well, I always jump. And the last part is pretty simple if you jump. If you if you, if you ma make it. I've got both our shoes, but before I can manage. I can always do this first part quickly. You gotta just gotta be quick. You gotta be quick with this. It's all about being quick timing as this boss. Oops, oh that was great when you also horse shoe. Missed the horse shoe again. Okay, we're gonna keep going around. Ooh, gotcha! Gotcha! Gotcha mug shot. Ha! Ha! Gotcha! Okay, we're on the second part of this boss. Gotta be the, the most difficult part. Cause it is the part where you have to do a lot of jumping. It's a, it's a part with a lot of jumping and stuff. You just gotta keep. Oh, I've lost my other shoe. Great, this is not going good. Okay, um, I'm gonna keep jumping with it now because I've lost both my shoes. This is not the best. Did it! Okay, now be very careful with this part. But um, hopefully, I can do it. So, we're basically, all jumping, okay? Make sure you jump on each one. What's this shot? Hit it, and then quickly jump to the next thing. Don't waste any time. And then wait till he's shot again. And then turn it around. And then quickly go. Like this. Basically just do this. This is the theory I do. And it always works. If you can jump right. But don't waste time jumping with this. Just quickly jump. Or he'll get you quickly. Okay, I think there's six altogether of them. Quickly do this. Yeah, there's one more to do after after this. Yeah, there's one more left. I think it's just, it's just this one now. Did it! Yay! I did the boss first time, but lost both my whole shoes. Oh well, I, I did the boss first time, and I'm gonna do what I did. Just. Take the, get the horse shoes the easy way. But I'm not showing you that part because I can't bother. Um, but it's just simple, it's just what I did in the other part. So I did the um, both bosses first time. And I showed you my technique. Um, the only thing time I died was when I had to die to get that bottle because I've missed it. I did have to do the um, race a lot of times, but I. Um, I've cut them, out, cut them out, so you have to, didn't have to put it with it. So I've actually done pretty good with this level. Did pretty well. Um, so, that is past 17. That is two levels of five. Complete! And, um, if you're watching this, you can also check out my Evil Dead Farm 101 account, where I'm uploading a game called Malice. 100% walkthrough through Malice and Malice. I've only, I've only recently got Malice and Malice is just such a cool game. And it's like one of the most fun, easiest games you can ever play. 
Okay, so we're going to end it right now. And sometime in the future, you'll be seeing part 18, which will be the first part of um, the next level, which is Voodoo. So, um, see you soon, and ta -da. And I'm also, comment anything, rate, and I'll return. Bye-bye. Um,